Welcome to the Pumpiduli Podcast. And today, for you, we have the story of Bree. Not the cheese, but a little girl. Her name is Bree. She is eagerly looking forward to her first day at NF Brigitha Middle School, home of the mighty Mantis, until she realizes that the only elective that fits her schedule is the dreaded swim 101. Swimming makes Brie more than a little uneasy, but she has no choice. She has to face one of her biggest fears head on. Fortunately, Etta, an elderly neighbor and former swim team captain, offered to help. With Etta's guidance and a lot of determination, Brie suddenly finds herself at the heart of a swim-obsessed community. With everyone counting on her to revive the school's struggling swim team. However, it is not an easy task. Can Brie beat the odds? Or are the mantis destined to swim their last lap? We have Myra with us today, who is going to tell you all about this journey. Hello, Myra. Hello, friends. I am Myra Agarwal and I'm nine years old. I study in Heritage International Experiential School. I'm here to talk about the book Swim Team by Johnny Christmas. It's a graphic novel. I love graphic novels because they're like a movie made with pictures and dialogues. Some of my other recent reads are Giant Beware, Katie Catsitter, Investigators, and Then the Stars Are Scattered. Mm -hmm. Another reason I like this book is because I love sports and when I got selected for my swim team, it was like a perfect read. Wow, a swim team, that's awesome. I hope you do well. Like Bree did. Uh, but talking about Bree, how do you think she changes from the beginning to the end of the story? And what are the important events that shape her? Brie, who's the main character of the book, moves to Florida with her dad. She loves all kinds of puzzles, but does not like sports at all and is afraid of water. In her new school, she has no choice but to join the swimming as a club. But she doesn't know how to swim. She tries her best to skip all classes. One day, her homework falls into the pool. She slips and falls into the pool too. She's saved by her neighbor, Miss Etta, who was once in her own swim team. When she was young, Bree thought Miss Etta could teach her how to swim. She starts taking coaching from Miss Etta. The school coach is impressed with Bree's progress and Bree makes it into her school swim team. Yippee! Good for Bree and Miss Etta. Being part of the swim team affects Bree's growth and her relationship with others. Do tell our listeners about it. After she learns how to swim, she overcomes her fear of water and becomes more confident. She's also more independent and her self-management skills improve. She makes a lot of new friends and gets to know her neighbor, Miss Etta, better. That is so great. The special relationship that we have is Bree's relationship with Miss Etta, who's her coach as well. And that influences the story. Oh, uh, please tell us about that. If Bree did not meet Miss Etta, it would make a whole different story. Miss Etta was not only her swim coach, but also a guide for challenges like when she and her swim team find out that her best friend Clara is moving to a rival school, Bree quits the team as she values friendship more than anything. This causes tensions and fights in the team. Later, Brie gets the swim team back together with Miss Etta's help. Every book is made of its characters, and this book especially so, and a lot of varied ones at that. There are characters like Brie's father, friends, even competitors. How do they help or hinder her development? Brie's dad never went for her swim meets. Bree thinks that he does not want her to be in the team, but later she gets to know that her dad is scared of swimming. 
When her dad tells her that he feels extremely happy to see her swim without fear, Bree feels more confident of herself, which makes her a better swimmer. Next, let me talk about competitors. They make Bree nervous, but also give her a drive to achieve her goals. Well, Myra, we are very glad to have you with us. Uh, do tell us what do you think of the North Star program of Book Be Bully. The North Star reading program for children is designed to inspire a love for books through fun and well-rounded approach. It starts with exciting podcasts that introduces different types of books authors to get kids interested. The deep dive sessions explore books, themes, and characters, helping us think critically and discuss our ideas. Let out sessions let us express what we have read through our drama or storytelling. The program also includes blogs with extra insights, reviews, and book suggestions. Finally, the speaking program allows children to share their favorite books and thoughts with others, building our confidence in public speaking. Altogether, the program creates a complete and enjoyable experience that encourages a lifelong love for reading. That's what our focus is, to ensure a lifelong love for reading. And we hope we have been able to inculcate it in a lot of our young friends. So back to the book. How does the book show these characters that we were talking about overcoming challenges? Bree starts all over again in a new city, then gets into a swimming elective. What helps her overcome these challenges is her new friends and her neighbor, Miss Etta, who help her through her tough times. The next character I want to talk about is Bree's best friend, Clara, who's forced to move to the rival school swim team. Because of this, her friends, including Bree, fight with her and she also gets insulted by a girl in the rival school swim team. With time, she realizes she does not need to be in the same school to be friends with Bree. This book is a study in teamwork and competition. And this message comes out really, really well. Tell us about these themes in the book. The book highlights how team members rely on each other not just for their success but for collective achievement. By working together towards a goal, we can make deep connections. It also tells us the importance of good sportsmanship. This book also teaches us that friendship is more important than competition. You know, a very important stereotype that we've heard is that people can't swim. Tell us, how did black people stop swimming or were they actually stopped from swimming? In America, a law was passed down that limited black people from accessing the beaches, lakes and swimming pools. Lack of access meant few black people could go swimming, so few black people could pass it down from one generation to the other. Oppositions to these conditions were often met with violence. There was incidents like murder of Eugene Williams in Chicago in 1919 to acid being poured in a pool with protesters in St. Augustine, Florida in 1964. Regardless, the black people kept fighting and eventually the laws were changed. So, there were only few pools in Etta's neighborhood that were often small or poorly maintained. Going to public pools in other neighborhoods often meant facing discrimination. But one thing I've learned from this book is if you're really keen on doing something, no one in the world can stop you. Thank you, Myra, for a lovely review. It was a pleasure to have you with us. Swim Team is an engaging graphic novel that blends themes of swimming, black history, and friendship. The story tackles not only Bree's fear of water, but also explores the historical reasons why many black people haven't learned to swim, tracing it back to segregation and the Jim Crow era when black families were denied access to public pools. This history enriches the background stories of Bree's father and Miss Etta, adding depth to the narrative. And now it's time for Book Be Bully Read Record. Themes of friendship, bullying, kindness, family expectations are all woven throughout 
making the story relatable for middle grade readers. The friendships in the book are portrayed realistically, showing the effort needed to make them work. This adds authenticity to relationships. The vibrant and detailed illustrations, especially the swimming scenes, enhance the overall experience, making it a truly captivating read. Overall, Swim Team delivers a powerful and entertaining story, blending fact with fiction and offering a fresh perspective on an important part of history. The artwork is colorful, lively, and draws readers into the world of Brie. The books leading to this book are Frizzy, The Invisible, and The Tryout. And the next read would be Gamer Will by the same author. Until next week, better read, read better.